Okay, before I start today's Retro Bat and Triforce setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe, and like that just means you'll get notified every time I release a retro emulation setup guide like this one today. Now, we're looking at Triforce today, and I was recently asked a question. I've already released today Triforce as a standalone. Um, what I'm going to do is actually set this up for Retro Bat for you. So, what we're going to do first of all is actually use the latest retro bat which is version 6 if you've not updated to version 6 yet check out my retro bat playlist and i've got around 130 videos in there and inside of that playlist you'll find the full setup guides for retro bat version 6. now what we're going to do then i've got two games for triforce we got f0 ax and this is rev d and we've also got Mario Kart GP, and this is a US copy. So this is Rev D, and we got USA. Now, just bear in mind that if you've got, say, a Japanese copy of Mario Kart GP, it likely won't work, or it might work. But anyways, this is the games I've got, and what we're going to do is go to the RetroBat shortcut, right-click on it, open file location, and in here, we're going to go to ROMs. And in your ROMs folder, we're going to just scroll down until we find Triforce. Okay, so once we've opened up that Triforce ROMs folder, what I'm going to do is just drag both of my games inside of that folder. Now, if you've been following my channel for a little while, you'll probably remember me uploading this around about a year ago. And that was to get Mario Kart GP2 together. So if you've not watched that one, I would personally not watch that at all because things have changed nowadays with RetroBat. Certain emulators are pretty much tailored to use a RetroBat version 6. So pretty much bypass that one and I'll just stick with this one for now. So what we're going to do, our games are inside RetroBat. Next thing we need to do is open up RetroBat. Okay, so we're inside a retro bat, and if you just scroll along whichever theme you're using, you'll come across Triforce. And if we just go in here, we can see the games. I'll put them into ROMs folder. But before we can actually play these, we actually need to go to the retro bat icon. If we go in here, we need to download an emulator using this. So if we just scroll down, we need to download Dolphin WX. It's got Triforce in brackets next to it. If we just press A on the controller to that, so the emulator Dolphin Triforce is not installed. Do you want to install now? Just press yes on this and let this download and install. Okay, so the next thing you're going to see is normal. It's going to say an error occurred, emulator is missing. If we press OK, and if I press B on my controller to come out, we're going to go back into that Triforce folder. And if I go to open up one of my games, Cool, so I've just used my hotkeys to exit that. What we're going to do next is actually look at some video settings. So if I press select on my controller to bring up view options, I'm going to go to advanced system options. And the first thing I need to look at is game aspect ratio. Now by auto, this is going to select the next one down. So 16 by 9. What I'm going to do is just make sure 16 by 9 is definitely checked for this. Internal resolution next, so we can upscale this to say 5K. I wouldn't recommend that, even if you're using a very good computer, it's likely going to lag. What I do suggest doing is at least putting this up to 720p to 1440p. If I just select 1080p, 
Next thing we want to go into is vertical sync. If I just make sure this one's onto yes, or just leave it on auto, and what vertical sync is going to do is take away any screen tear. And of course, screen tear is always going to be a thing in 3D games. Next thing we're going to want to do is go down to visual rendering. Now, just here, we're going to look at anastrophic filtering. What this does, it enhances the quality of textures on surface. So rather than having a load of blur, we can actually define this and make things look a little bit more realistic. So just like internal resolution, where I popped it up to 1080p, it's going to be the same deal with anastrophic filtering. The further up you go with this, the more sluggish your gameplay might become. So just go modest and say go to two times and slowly increase this through increments. Just find out the weak spot of your computer. So I'm going to just select two times. Anti-aliasing is another good one to go for. Now what anti-aliasing does is takes away jagged edges around games. So for example, there's a car and the car has got some very rough edges around it. So applying anti-aliasing, it's gonna slightly take that away. So the more we go out of anti-aliasing, the more that rough edge on your objects in the game is gonna go. But just like internal resolution, it's also gonna potentially cause your game to be sluggish. So again, just like increments, like I mentioned a minute ago, we're gonna go for two times. Now the next option I'm gonna suggest doing is just going down to drivers. If we go to video, now, the problem is with some games is that you might boot it up and although it might want to play, you might hear it, but you might not necessarily see a screen. So if that's your case, or if the game just goes back into Retrobat, then go into video and select something like Vulcan. But for me, auto works just fine. Okay, so with these video settings applied, if I open up Mario Kart again... Okay, cool. So that's looking awesome. And of course, we need to scrape some artwork. So main menu, scraper. So I recommend box 3D and logo source. I'm going to put this to marquee. And I'm going to just enable a couple of these options. So we're going to go for fan art. And I'm going to just pop in my username and password. Okay, so scrape and finish. If we go to main menu, game settings, update game list, and yes. And here we go, so we've now got the artwork to go with these, although it's not displaying too well with this theme I'm using. What I'm gonna do next is actually show you how to use a widescreen hack. So if we just quit out of Retrobat. So to do this, we're gonna go to the Retrobat shortcut, right click, open file location, and we're gonna go down to emulators this time. Inside of emulators, you're gonna find Dolphin Triforce. If we go inside of here, we open up the emulator, dolphin.exe, what we're going to do from here is just go up to graphics and from here I'm just going to go over to enhancements and I can then select widescreen hack. Now let me just make you aware that certain parts of certain games aren't going to look that great. So just be mindful of this and if your game comes completely unplayable then of course just deselect it. And whilst I'm here I'm also going to enable disable fog so we're going to get more of a clear vision in the distance when we're playing games. So anyways what I'm going to do is just close out of here and open up Retrobat once again. Okay so we're back into Retrobat and this time I'm going to open up F-Zero AX. Now, particular games, and let's be honest, Triforce has only really got a hands for games. It might ask you to set up controller settings. This is very simple.
Now, as we can see, it's working just fine, just like Mario Kart GP. But what I'm going to do is go back to view options, advanced system options. This time, I'm going to go to game aspect ratio, and I'm going to just put this on the stretch for now. And as we can see, that's working perfectly now. Now I'm going to test out Mario Kart. And that's it for today's RetroBat version 6 and Triforce setup guide. As you can see, it's very simple. And since RetroBat version 6 came out, playing Triforce games is very easy. So if you've not yet hit notifications and subscribe, do that now so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.